In this webinar, we will learn about screening and follow up for retinopathy of prematurity. We shall learn whom to screen for retinopathy of prematurity, when to screen, who will screen, how to prepare a baby for screening and how to plan follow up. Infants with either of the following that is birth weight less than 2000 gram, gestation age less than 35 weeks or any preterm infant with risk factors like cardiorespiratory instability, prolonged oxygen therapy, repeated episodes of apnea of prematurity, history of blood transfusion, sepsis and poor postnatal weight gain should be screened for retinopathy of prematurity. Now coming to the time when this screening has to be done. First screening should be done no later than 4 weeks of age, but for infants between 24 to 30 weeks gestational age or birth weight less than 1200 gram, it should be done earlier that is 2 to 3 weeks after delivery. Keep in mind that it should not be later than 3 weeks of age. Retinopathy of prematurity should be done by a trained eye specialist using indirect ophthalmoscope in NICU or SCNU if the baby is still admitted. If the baby is discharged, then screening can be done in a defined area in SCNU on an outpatient basis. For preparation of babies prior to screening, they should be kept nil per oral for 2 hours. For dilating pupils, one drop of 0.5 to 1 percent tropicanamide should be instilled in both the eyes every 15 minutes for 3 to 4 times. After that, one drop of 2.5 percent phenylephrine should be instilled once. 10 minutes before the screening procedure. Next step is to instill topical anesthetic drops like paracaine. For pain control during the procedure, 2 ml of 25 percent sucrose should be given orally 2 minutes before the procedure. After that, antibiotic eye drops should be instilled for 3 days post procedure. For preparation and dilution of eye drops, please refer to the figure shown in the slide. If during ROP screening, no signs of ROP is present and retina is fully vascularized, then babies should have a visual follow up at 4 and 9 months of age. If retina is avascular in zone 2 and zone 3, then frequency of screening should be every 2 to 3 weeks till retina is fully vascularized. If retina is avascular in zone 1, then these babies should be followed more frequently that is every 1 to 2 weeks. If ROP is present, then subsequent follow-up depends upon the zone and stage of ROP. In zone 1, stage 1 or 2 ROP without plus disease, the follow-up interval is every 1 week and if there is regressing ROP, the follow-up interval is 1 to 2 weeks. In zone 2 ROP, if there is stage 1, follow-up interval is 2 weeks and if there is stage 2, the follow-up interval is 1 to 2 weeks and if there is stage 3, then the follow-up interval is 1 week or less. And if there is regressing ROP, then the follow-up interval is 2 weeks. In zone 3 ROP, if there is stage 1 or 2 and regressing ROP, the follow-up interval is 2 to 3 weeks. So, having learnt about retinopathy of prematurity screening process, it is important to know that how linking with Rashtriya Bal Swasthya Karyakram, that is RBSK, will help us to improve ROP screening program. Linking with RBSK will lead to improved coordination and financial support. There will be adequate provision of equipment to screen and treat ROP. Long term follow up along with rehabilitation and referral services can be streamlined by involvement of frontline health workers like ASHA. So, we have learnt that ROP screening should be done at 4 weeks after birth. However, in babies born earlier than 30 weeks gestation, or birth weight less than 1200 gram, it should be done at 2 to 3 weeks after delivery. The screening should be done by trained ophthalmologists using indirect ophthalmoscope. The frequency of follow up depends upon the zone and stage of ROP. Thanks.